gonna be a gloves off grudge match. Birmingham versus the Jackson dancing dogs. We're gonna compete against each other with the baby dancing dogs. I definitely know discipline issues when I see them. You're acting more like a teammate than more of a coach. Come on, sis, let's start the music! It's supposed to be sibling rivalry between Birmingham and Jackson, not Kayla and Tori. I invited Pirate. Ooh. Speaking of fighting me already, do she not know I'm the judge today? They wanted to let Birmingham know, I love you, honey, but this is what we call tough love. The girls think this is gonna be a typical week where they just battle their rivals and do the same old, same old. But surprise, this week is gonna be a little different. All right, y'all, so Miss D left a message for us, and we're gonna watch it. <laughs> All right, dancing and dogs, y'all are probably wondering why I'm not there. This week, you're not going to take part in a formal competition. It's going to be a gloves off, knockdown, drag out grudge match Birmingham Dancing Dolls versus the Jackson Dancing Dolls. Here's the history behind the Birmingham Dancing Dolls. Exactly one year ago, I opened up a new dance studio, Dollhouse Dance Factory Number no. Two, in Birmingham, Alabama. I look at the Birmingham Dancing Dolls as the baby sister to my Jackson team. But like with most families, there's always a little bit of sibling rivalry, especially with the moms. I'd rather have us in this little mustard ass, sweater ass, stinking spoiled carpet ass room than meet the new Birmingham mom. My biggest challenge is to get Birmingham girls into tip top shape and performed at the Battle Royale. So, this week we're gonna compete against each other in pom pom and in a three man call out round packed with the baby dancing dolls. So, this means three of the baby dolls from Jackson will have to compete against three of the baby dancing dolls from Birmingham. And let me tell you, the Birmingham dancing dolls, they got their stuff together. So, you better have your stuff together. With me behind them, you can guarantee they coming for you. So good luck. Don't back off, because I'm not. With Ms. D being away this week, I am working with Tori. I know the parents have had some issues with him, and he do have a strong personality, but we're cool, so hopefully that stay that way. So, but like, like she said, with the Birmingham babies are energetic, they're crazy, they look good. Tori's background is in Russian ballet, but I'm needing him to help me get the pump arm routine looking good. The two of us are gonna have our hands full, so we're gonna need help with the baby dog call out. Cameron, <laughs> Micaiah, and Michaela, it's gonna be y'all duty to train our three babies. It's gonna be really, really fun to work with the baby doll. I don't know who I'm gonna get yet, but I hope they're a little version of me. Now that Ms. D is not here, we're going to do everything Coach K's way. Of course, we love Ms. Diana. But with Kayla, it is a lot more fun in practice. No, Birmingham is Diana's baby. I, I do feel like that Birmingham is Diana's baby. You preach to us that they got their together. Toys, class, and all kind of sophistication. Extra that you said we wasn't. Right. I was made to be a champion. I survived through any situation. This week, you guys are gonna face off against the dancing dolls of Jackson, Mississippi. The Jackson team is not going to let up on you just because you are their little sisters. They do not care. This is a chance that you get to face off up against your big sisters and prove that you have the right to say, I am a dancing dog. The Birmingham dancing dogs want to beat the dancing dogs of Jackson so bad that they can taste it. We may be smaller than you, or we may be younger than you, but we're not going to go down without a fight. We're going to take the rest of your hair bows, your barrettes, we may even take your boyfriend. I know Jackson's weaknesses and I know where you're weak at and where you're strong at. Jackson better look out because the Birmingham Dolls are coming for you. Are you ready? Yeah! Everybody up. Girl, Diana's in the dollhouse. 
All I want to know is, is she in there teaching them some so when we get down here, we're going to win. My name is Kizzy. I'm my kid's mom. Yeah, we winning. Don't win. Oh, we're bringing a trophy back. Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we... I know that the Jackson DDPs think they're going to get this trophy, but when our girls hit that floor, we'll be coming back across the state line with that trophy. They have a lot of energy. That's awesome. I wish that it was more opportunities for Haley as far as a solo goes. My name is Velma. My name is Haley. And there's only one thing you need to know about me. I'm the Captain Small. Y'all, <laughs> tune into the door and watch how this major rent get done, because my no, kid don't forget doing what she need to do. Can she, don't, don't can forget she do ballet? Look, she can do it all. Ladies, She ladies, can do it all. Ladies. Stop all this fussing. Why can't we just be united for once? With big families, you know, they fight. But at the end of the day, you know, we have each other's back. Because you know something, we're not the enemies this week. You know who the enemies are? Jackson. So you have to come around. Come out a little bit. Yeah, now make the art. We're doing pom pom this week. So we're working on a part where the girls spell out DD4L with their bodies on the turf. The DD4L formation in the dollhouse looks so so, but at the competition, we perform it on a huge football field, and I know it's gonna look perfect. Everybody put their pom poms up. Like we we like tell the story. I see that the girls are being way too loud. They won't sit still. I definitely know discipline issues when I see them. What you think? Do you see it? Do you see Diddy for us? Uh, no, not really. Hey, put the pom poms down. Kayla, what is this supposed to be? A L. A L. Oh. Okay, Tori, I get it. The formation still need you work, but you might want to help out. Kayla, what are they supposed to be? A four. A four. Oh, I missed it. Move Where's up. your four? It's real frustrating to see Tori walking around with a clipboard, yelling out all the flaws and critiques that he have, when, as the assistant, he needs to be helping me. And I feel like you're trying to be Miss Donna right now, big mouth with the clipboard. Like, I don't even have a clipboard right now, and I'm head coach. Pipe down. Okay, everybody make they get in their spot. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one stop. So from here, go to y'all pom poms on that first eight count and pick them up on seven, eight. The Birmingham pom pom routine was created by my three coaches here in Birmingham. And now that I'm here, it's time for me to put my twist and add any changes necessary so that it still has that dancing doll and that coach D flair. Five, six, seven, eight, stop. Again. You have to learn to listen. It's very simple. This is what I was talking about. Jackson catches on to critiques and changes very quickly. You have to listen. The Jackson Dancing Dolls have been dancing together for 15 years, and the Birmingham team has only been together for one year. I am determined that this week, we're gonna win. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Seven, eight, girl. Seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, again. Move, aggressive, the whole thing should be aggressive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thank you. So, working on the last section of our pump pump routine, I'm trying to see is it there. Even though the Birmingham team have less experience than us, they have a few months to practice on their pump pump routine. But how do y'all feel about it? Like, do y'all feel like it's good enough? Like, how do y'all feel about it? Kayla just made a huge, huge mistake by allowing her students to become her peers again. It's like, it's the music is too fast. That's my... OK, music is too fast. Instead of just ending it, we need, like, a... a so you ra you'd rather have a full exit. I mean, it's, it's like, too it's, it's mm -hmm. I love working with Miss Diana, but sometimes with Coach Kayla, we get a little bit more say so. That's really nice. A so you you rather have a full exit, like a full okay. exit, instead of just like get up, be like we're done. I like hearing from the girls. It helps me figure out what part of the routine needs more work. Let's what say it'll be four right. kick lines. Kayla, they right. can't hear you over. Did y'all hear what she said? Say it one more time. It'll be four kick lines. Did y'all hear that? Kayla is completely losing her audience. Most of the girls aren't even listening to her. I'm saying. Clarify a little bit more. They're clueless. Step, drop, step, kick, and y'all exit off this one. I don't quite know what I'm looking at right now. It's about time that I get Diana in the loop. Coming up. Uh, what are you doing? Get in line. Get in line, she said. And later. 
Sometimes I get scared. We're at the first day of practice, and I'm coaching the pom pom routine. And then you lay down tonight. The babies will have their own call out practice. Our rival for the week is the Birmingham Dancing Dolls, coached by no other than Miss Diana. <laughs> the girls are way louder than they usually are. I think it's fine, but Tori feels like the sky is falling. Y'all yeah, keep y'all formation tight. Kayla, can I talk to you over here? Please. I know that Kayla does not want to hear this right now, but she's losing control of the team, and that's not okay. If this continues to happen, we're gonna completely not have a chance against Birmingham. I would know I've seen Birmingham and what they can do. You're acting more like a teammate than more of a coach. It's kind of hard to take that critique from somebody who hasn't inputted anything. I've been my here. notes are only about leadership, not about the choreography. Think about it, okay? Just because my style is different from Miss Diana doesn't mean I don't know what I'm doing. I don't mind a ladder dollhouse. Let's remember, last time me and Miss D went head to head, my team came home with the trophy. They swept the call out round and won the first ever doll versus doll scrimmage. So all four of y'all will step, drop, step, kick together. Y'all two will go that way. Y'all two will go this way. She got really, really defensive when I told her that she needed to show more leadership with the girls. This may piss Kayla off, but I have to pull Diana into the loop. Hey, everybody OK? Um, it's OK. It's kind of been a little chaotic. We've slowly been getting it a little bit better. I'm working on the middle part of the pom-pom routine, and I see Tori over there waving his phone around his hand. I'm like, uh, what are you doing? Let me see how they look so far. Y'all, Diana wants to see how you guys look so wait, far. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think that they're okay with that. I don't understand why Kayla is freaking out about me wanting to see what they're doing, because it's my team. Turn the damn camera around and five, six, seven, eight, get your ass out there, let's go. Okay, sure. Everything that Coach Kayla has taught you so far, got it? It's taking them too long to get in line. It's taking y'all entirely too long to get in line, she said. I'm starting to wonder if Tori and Kayla can handle this collectively together. It's supposed to be sibling rivalry between Birmingham and Jackson, not Kayla and Tori. It's getting hard for me to hold my seat right now. Tori, we're running his mouth to Diana. Now they're watching her work. That's cheating. You know how pissed off I am? Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm pissed. You didn't got old Tori the snitch to show you the routine. Six, seven, eight, lean. One, two, three, four. Left and right and left and right and down. Is open your hands and let go. The Birmingham Dancing Dolls are green. When I say green, I mean greener than green. They're still wearing onesies, sucking on pacifiers, wearing diapers, and saying, my, 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 my. Left, right, left, right, let go. You ain't got to throw them, drop them, nothing. Just open your hands up and let go. Left, right, left, right, let go. Last time we saw Jackson, they was, they was, they was good. Uh, the girls of Jackson, they real sweet. But those DDPs, Last time we was there, them things didn't even speak. Last time I saw the Jackson DDPs, they were very cocky. Yeah, they, they did. They, they didn't did. acknowledge they us did. at did. all. Babe, I know they ain't trying to get up, but they waving at oh. Get out, get out. Everybody, duck, 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 duck. Everybody get out. Oh, and I didn't see it, baby. I felt chills from them. It's kind of cold. Well, it was cold. <laughs> it was cold. Girl. Did y'all see how they did us? Yes, yes, I saw uh, them. They snubbed us. But guess what? We're going to get some revenge when we get back down now. OK. I'm going to be dancing all around. I can't wait to do a victory dance to show those other DDPs of Jackson and the Jackson Dolls that Birmingham got it, and we can hang with them. If they try to snub us again, guess what? I'm walking over there. OK. Say, Hello. Boom. We here, so you might as well get used to yeah. it. Yeah. All right. All right, I need you to dismiss. the way that Diana is treating Kayla, and it's time that she hears it straight from me. 
Hello? What were you doing watching Kayla's practice? Are you watching because you're trying to get that competitive edge or you don't trust Kayla? Either way, I'm just offended. I don't know if Tina lost her marbles. I have no idea. You definitely need some perspective because the whole reason that we're doing this scrimmage is for Jackson and Birmingham to come together as sisters. That's the whole point, Tina. I've got an idea, and this idea the DDPs are going to freaking hate, which must mean it's a good idea. I think it would be awfully nice if you bring a little something to the Birmingham DDP before the scrimmage. Uh, what now? Gift baskets. I mean, any other week would be fine, but this week is crazy. I got, like, a lot of errands. I got a lot of stuff. I recommend that you take the I-20. So the I-59, it's a very scenic route. I gotta go. Bye. Everybody trying to get a piece, you know what I'm saying? Michaela, Cameron, and Micaiah, y'all been working with y'all babies. So now it's time to see what they got. It's day two of practice, and I gotta put an eye on this baby doll call out round. Cameron has been coaching Maddie because they're both lyrical in style. Kayla has been helping little Micaiah because they both eject attitude into their dance. Micaiah has been working with Half Pain because they're both mad tumblers. Ready, Maddie? You're the, you're the, you're the one. So the babies are looking good, and then Makaya's baby half paint steps up. So you'll stand right here. All right, y'all let her through. Let her open up the middle. Oh, she and gonna you know, start from this there. out, so I need to see whatever you're gonna do. Good luck. Have fun. Before half paint went out there to dance, she was actually nervous. She was shaking. She was breathing like. <sighs> are you ready? What happened? to dance, but when I look around the room, there's so many people watching. Sometimes I get scared. Okay, she needs to get more comfortable with it, so just take her to the bank, and while we do pump on, you need to just keep working with her. Okay. I don't want to pressure half paint into dancing, but we're clearly going to have to do something to fix this situation. Coming up, start the music, start the music! Tori and I can't get on the same page. This pump heart routine gonna be a disaster. Then start the music! And later. I don't know who's gonna win. Five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four. Shake, 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 shake. Day two of practice, the pump heart routine looks decent. I want it to look better, but we still have a lot left to do. Okay, let's fix this. Just line up tallest to shortest. And now we gotta make ramp kick lines. A ramp kick line is where all the girls line up one behind the other, and a ripple is getting sent back, and as they come to the front, they step drop, step kick. Tallest to shortest. Michaela, come and get in the line really, really quick. I'm so super we can get this short. To You're the tallest, right? Sit up straight. You're gonna be up there somewhere. These girls are completely confused. If Kayla can't get these girls into shape, they're gonna be toast. Yeah. Two-way counts, just make it three. Start off the 30. Two-way counts, get that one they count. Louder. Louder. They don't understand what's happening. I got it, Tori. Shut up. Thank you. I swear to God, if Tori don't start this damn music and back off, I'm going to have to space. They don't start understand the music. what start is the music. Start the music. Start the music. Come on, sister. Start the music. Stay together, y'all. Kayla actually does need help with this, so I decided to just be the director. Energy up! Point your feet, lady! And things started to work phenomenally after that. Point your toes! Me and Tori been going at it all week, and now he's trying to push me aside. He has a lot of voice than me, but all the new choreography in there, that's mine. Show your teeth, girl! You got just because you clapping and screaming and stuff don't mean that's a that's coaching. You can just hire somebody to stand here and say, point your toes, smile, watch your feet. Or you could just shut your mouth and let Kayla, who actually knows about majorette dance, step in and coach. I need $20 extra. She can just hire me. Beginning, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Can't do What's that. It? 
Before our final practice, I set up this tutorial with half paint, not for her dancing, but to make sure she's emotionally ready to take the floor. I understand exactly how you feel. I used to be nervous all the time. Half paint is thinking too much about the audience, and she just needs to go out there and dance. All right, let's try this again. C -c 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 come over here. Come over here to the chocolate side. We'll try another exercise. Miss Kayla and Cameron is helping me get over to not be so shy. So, so we're gonna shake it. Loose it. We're gonna shake it. We're gonna shake you up. Okay, loose it. All right, stop. Loose it. A lot of dancers do struggle with shyness. I do not want this to ruin Half Paint's potential. I want you to walk in everybody's face and tell them that you're a beast. Get her. Get her. I'm a beast. Clark. I'm a beast. It's like you saying, I'm a bee. You're not a bee. You're a beast. <laughs> Got it? Mama, give it to me. I'm a bee. You are. It's B, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Now half paint looks great, but I'm still nervous. When it's competition time, you don't know which half paint you're going to get. Six, seven, eight. Come stand right here on the 40. Get close. It's the last practice of the week, and the Birmingham Dancing Dolls have never competed on a football field. This is all new for them. I don't want them to get nervous about it, but hell, I'm already nervous and feeling like they're gonna screw this up before we even get started. We're at our final practice, and it's outside because we have to battle Coach D and the Birmingham Dolls on a football field. Tori keeps just overshadowing me. He's taking over it. I'm just frustrated. Kayla, start the babies over so we can go ahead and fix that, because they gonna be slower than the big girls. Hold on, everybody. Kayla, she can come in some right here. And then Mackenzie should be on the line. I think Tori is a little bossy. Kayla knows Majorette way more than Tori does. Kayla needs to stand her ground. Hold on, everybody. Thank you. Pay attention! Pay attention! Last night, I talked to Diana on the phone. She wants this competition to bring the teams together. Well, here I am in Birmingham. I spent all day yesterday making these gift baskets, and I sure hope the DDP of Birmingham appreciate it. Oh, hey. Hey. I'm sure the DDPs of Birmingham are going to be surprised to see me coming bearing gifts. You got to have rollers for their hair. Mm -hmm. She demand curls. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got brushes, combs, pins, wow. you know, headbands, pain medication. It was nice that she came here, but if she thought that those little funky gift baskets that she brought was going to soften us up, nah, she can think twice on that one. Of course, that ain't for the girls. <laughs> you know who that's for, for Miss Dina. These Birmingham moms, they don't seem to be that bad. So, Dana, you win. Still, who's to say I won't spy and pass this information along to Kaylee? What about your pom-pom routine? Girl, okay. Baby, that pom-pom routine is, is on point. Yeah. OK. Yeah. They read all of them already. Yes, they read it. Yeah, they didn't practice hard. They had Coach D. Come up here and sprinkle some salt oh, on them. Yeah. Hey, hey. So, hey, you can get ready. OK. Watching that girls, they are really good. I'm like, uh-oh. Uh we getting ready to, to do exactly what y'all doing. It don't matter. So, Either way it go, we still tomorrow, winning. Y'all look left to right. Make sure that y'all are all in one straight line. Look left to right. This has been a so-so practice. The morale is down, and the team is not showing much enthusiasm. Yeah, go down. Get on the line. There you go. Kayla is being very quiet. If she doesn't step up and put in her 10 cents, I feel like we're going to go into this competition unprepared. You're about to dance full out. You need to be stretching. I felt lost working with Tori. I, I felt like a lost, brand new puppy. Just everybody else is gone with their mom, and I'm just standing there all alone. Sitting on each other's feet, cow, pull each other in half. Coming up. But the elite stars definitely can't lose. Oh, do she not know I'm the judge today? And later. So y'all ready for what Birmingham about to bring down here to y'all Jackson girl? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
We're working really, really hard towards this palm routine. Kayla and I may have butted heads a few times this week, but I can't help but notice that she's kind of withdrawn herself a little bit. Hey, Kayla. We really, really need Kayla's help. So I've got to go and give her a little bit of confidence, have a talk with her so we can get this ball on the roll. I've been um, noticing that you've been a little bit frustrated about everything, and I totally understand because things have been frustrating this week. Frustrating? You think? Maybe because you've been acting like my boss, even though all the new choreography is mine. You know, you just got to check your feelings at the door. If you're kind of down about something, the students are going to feel it, and they're going to be down. So you just have to lift up and perk up and just be like, everything's going to be OK. We got, okay. You got this. You choreographed the bomb dance. You got it. Yeah, Tori can be kind of pushy, but we got to go into this competition as a team if you want to win. Miss Kayla, you got any yeah. other encouraging words for him? Thank God Kayla's back. I didn't want to have to face off the Birmingham team without Kayla in the driver's seat. We do need to make sure that we have faces, we are happy, we're going down there tomorrow for one reason, to compete and win and all that great stuff. Y'all come on! It's competition day and we are here in Hazelhurst, Mississippi. The Birmingham Dancing Dolls are already beyond nervous about this entire competition. All right, y'all, so we have finally arrived in Hazelhurst. Now, y'all done practiced hard. Y'all have a whole lot to prove to not only to yourselves, but to your big sisters. They need to showcase to everyone in that crowd, to all the parents from Jackson, to all the dolls from Jackson, why they deserve to scream DD for y'all just like they do. DD for DD for All right, y'all, so we here in Hazelhurst. We're gonna keep a positive vibe. It's competition day, and I'm nervous to see how the girls are gonna perform my choreography, and I don't know what Birmingham has to offer. I am nervous. The word dominate needs to enter your mind. I want you to dominate that field. No matter who you're competing against, always just go out there for the win, okay? And I'm hoping that our girls are really, really prepared, but the Birmingham girls are really, really hungry, and they are extremely talented. So this could go either way. For this competition, I've booked the judges, one of which is Mr. Cookie himself, Tyrus Sellers. Ooh. We've competed against him before, so I figured he'll be able to give a fair assessment. How does it feel to be at a competition where the elite stars definitely can't lose? Oh. She seems like she's picking a fight with me already. Do she not know I'm the judge today? Our time is coming, do trust and believe, and lose this out of our category, honey. Are you sure? I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Because the dolls are about to get out here on the field mm -hmm. and do their thing, both of my teams. Bring it. We always do, but you know that. Auntie Cookie's on this panel, baby, and I'm... I'm on it. There is no medication that's gonna help me get through this day other than the Lord. This was Kayla's week, and the girls have been working without Diana, and I'm proud of them, and I want them to show Diana what they were able to do without her. But my nerves are a little shaky because I saw Birmingham practice, and they are very good. I feel like Jason a side chick this week. What does Birmingham have that we don't? I'm excited either way. Yeah, it's I see the Birmingham moms approach, and I'm hoping that the DDPs behave themselves. So y'all ready for what Birmingham about to bring down here to y'all Jackson girls? I want to see our girls come and take revenge from, you know, just people thinking that they're not good enough, they're not better than Jackson. We ever win this thing. You can't bring nothing to the originals. Oh. Baby. Oh. Yes. And here I thought they were coming to thank us for the gift basket. Get to keep them. <laughs> All right, girls, so it's time for us to get ready to hit the field. Ready? Yeah. All right, stand up. Our heads bowed, eyes closed. 
Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Lord, we come to you today wanting you to bless us because this has been a very stressful week for me, and I know it's been a very stressful week for everybody else. We thank you so much for the coaches. We thank you for them giving up their time to be with these kids, to give these kids all of their talents as well. We're proud that you blessed our life with Ms. Diana and his team because without this team, we don't know where we'll be right now. I'm nervous because it was a tough week in the doghouse. Me and Tori had our issues. I have confidence in the girl, but I just do not know. I really don't know. That's the Birmingham team, and bless us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Amen! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hazelhurst, Mississippi, for today's highly anticipated Birmingham Dog versus Jackson Dog Grudge Match. Make some noise! Normally, I would be confident that we could take a team that's only been built for a year. But knowing that Coach D is down there, it could go a totally different way, because we have seen her pull off some crazy things. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dancing Dolls of Birmingham! Coming up, the girls did not have it together. Things were looking a hot mess. It's a lot of pressure on the little baby. I just hope half paint can handle it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dancing Dolls of Birmingham! It's competition day, and we are here in Hazelhurst, Mississippi. And knowing that sibling rivalry exists, the Dancing Dolls of Jackson and the Dancing Dolls of Birmingham are going to go head to head. There's going to literally be a pom-pom fight. The Jackson Dolls do not want to lose. They don't want to lose because they're the big sister. You name one big sister that wants to get beat up by their little sister. Cameron, you better look out because I'm the head captain of Birmingham and we're gonna slay tonight. Hey, that's my baby. Give me a high five, girl. <laughs> Sound the alarm, this baby on the charge. And my budget lunch. Better make a roll, better make a roll. Buy out the bar, max out my credit cards. Tonight it's on. Better make a roll. I'm watching the Birmingham Dancing Dolls do their pom pom routine, and it had a lot of energy, and it was good. Hey, baby, I'm a go I'm a go The Birmingham Dolls are coming in as the underdogs in this, and they've really got to prove to their big sisters that they can handle the pressure of being on a competition field. I want the Birmingham Dancing Dolls to rise to the occasion, accept the challenge, and knock it out of the park. Hey, baby. Right now, looking at Birmingham, I regret even underestimating them. I'm talking about the energy was out the roof. They're giving everything in their body. Coach D has been down there killing it with these girls. I'm a go the Birmingham routine looked phenomenal. I'm kind of blown away. I'm extremely proud of them. I'm also extremely nervous for the Jackson girls. I gotta give props to the Birmingham Dolls. They brought their A game. They're only one year old and they're already looking like true dolls. Now introducing the veteran squad. Coming in from Dollhouse Jackson, the Dancing Dolls of Jackson, Mississippi. When I saw practice, there was a couple of times that things were looking a hot mess. Kayla and Tor was going back and forth. The girls did not have it together. I'm not sure we're going to pull off a win today. We're all Team Kayla, and we know she had a hard week, so we really wanted to do good for her. Once they got out there on the field, the girls looked really, really comfortable. Whatever happened Friday, whatever we talked about, it must have sunk in because they started to look as one team like they should. I'm looking 
looking at the Jackson Dolls on this bill. They look like a, a chili to squad. I'm for real with the pom-poms, the everything is like really working out. They are out there killing it right now. looking amazing like they are giving so much attitude and sass way better than practice i know me and tori don't usually get along but i feel like we caused some friction there that just gave them a fire under their ass because they are killing it right now this is my first time seeing it all together as a whole and i'm happy the DD for L spread across the floor. The intro, it was wonderful. Watching the Jackson Dancing Dolls, I love the creativity. It makes me feel good to know that I can walk away from this team, and they're going to do what they're supposed to do. So this could go Either way, between Jackson, possibly win. Birmingham, to possibly win. I don't know who's gonna win. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the call-out round. So now we're getting ready to go into our baby doll call-out round, where three of the Jackson baby dolls battle three of the Birmingham baby dolls. One by one for 60 seconds. Let's have our first two dancers to the floor. Birmingham and Jackson. Half Paint is struggling all week with shyness. It's a lot of pressure on the little baby. I just hope Half Paint can handle it. Let's get it! Let's go! Knowing that the Jackson Baby Dancing Dolls and the Birmingham Baby Dancing Dolls are about to go head to head and they're not backing down, this is going to be an interesting competition. Let me see you. I can't take my eyes off this little girl. She is cute. She is like the whole total package. She has so much fire, honey. I'm just like, okay, let's get it. Let me see you drop it. In charge and we drop it. Let me see you drop it. Slow like a rock. Let me see you drop it. In charge and we drop it. Put your back in motion. Muck up motion. Do it lower. Maddie did an amazing job. It looked like a little low me out there. We can And now to our judges, Jackson, Jackson. Jackson! Ladies and gentlemen, Jackson has won the first round. Next two dancers, step up! Don't you ever stop. Zarya goes for it from beginning to end. Her tricks, her toe touches, that face. It's like a, it's like a seller for the whole thing. Jackson, Birmingham, Al Birmingham, Birmingham wins that round. Maddie won round one, but the Birmingham baby won round two. So now we're one and one. It's up to half paint. If she lose, we lose. If she win, we win. It's a lot of pressure on the little baby. I just hope half pain can handle it. Come on, baby! Come on, baby! I hope I win because if I win, the whole team wins. Ladies and gentlemen, our final two dancers! Let's get it! Let's go! Put me on to the stage, I'm gonna kick it up open. It's all down here, they can sit in this open. Easy breezy, it's so chillin', that's it. Look at me pop pop, never stop like this. I'm on top top, watch your boy get fizzy. Open in the rock top, now the flavor is tasty. Before you get hasty, my game on point, never the one that plays it. My game on point, you better know, you better rub Half point takes the field. Get a rep and do it every day. Fuck the like the whole town. Do it up with my agents. My agents pay the base. Don't bring it face. No 
doing her best. She wasn't half pint, she was a whole freaking gallon. Half pint just dances and dances and dances. She got face, she got attitude, she got a whole lot of everything. Wow, half pint, she set the field on fire. Ridiculous. The Q factor goes to Half Pint. The attitude factor goes to Jamiria. The swag factor goes to both the behinds. So to be honest, I don't know who the judges are gonna pick. It could go either way at this point. And now it's in the hands of the judges. Birmingham. Demiria has an attitude and does not want to shake Half Pint's hand. You're not going to always freaking win. You have to know how to compete. And knowing how to compete means knowing how to win gracefully and also to lose gracefully. Sportsmanship and sportsmanlike conduct is a big deal to me. It is my job and the job of all the coaches at that Birmingham studio to make sure the dancing dolls of Birmingham continue to win with class and to lose with class. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking these young ladies for their performances today. In our palm category, the team who was victorious is... From Jackson, Mississippi, the Dancing Dogs. Maybe Tori and I are not a bad combination. I'm not saying I want to work with him again, but you can't argue with success. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, I'm your host, Jay Fever. Let's get it, let's go. I'm very proud of the Jackson team and how well they handled themselves on the floor this week, but I'm beyond proud of the Birmingham Dancing Dolls. Even though Jackson won, the Birmingham Dancing Dolls left a hell of a damn mark. They have earned every right to scream Dee Dee for real. Dee Dee Fofa! Dee Dee Fofa!